Hello everyone, this is Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. So, today in this video we are going to see that how we can compress the text files or the numbers, right? Or what are the formats in which the text or the numbers are being stored, right? So, first of all, let's take the text. The text are, is basically nothing but the characters it's a series of characters right so the text is basically stored in a text file or in a computer it is stored in the form of ascii codes right okay and each of the character has a particular ASCII code that can be converted into a decimal or a hexadecimal value, right? So, let's suppose I have a character um, W. No, I have a character C, let's suppose. Then the ASCII code or the decimal equivalent, right, of the ASCII code is 67 or the hexadecimal would be 43, right? So every character has a particular uh, ASCII code that can be written in terms of decimal or a hexadecimal value or meanwhile it can be converted into a binary form so that it can be stored into the memory, right? So keep in mind that the text are being stored in the form of ASCII codes and also each character needs an 8 bit of memory right for example i have a character c then it is going to have one byte memory in order to store right so uh, this is about text now let's move towards numbers okay there are different formats to store the numbers the numbers can be stored as a real one as an integer it can be stored in the form of date, right, time, or currency, right. So there are these are the different formats in which the numbers can be stored, right. So now the important point here is that we cannot compress the text or the number using lossy compression. Why? Because in the previous video, I have mentioned that the lossy compression is the one in which we removes the unnecessary information. Right? So, can let's suppose I have a text file and in the text file, it is my name is Farva. So, can I remove the data name? No, I cannot remove. I cannot remove a single character in the text file. Why? Because every word, each of the character is important in it. There is not unnecessary information hidden, right? Similarly with the numbers, let's suppose there is a date uh, like 12082016. These are the numbers that are being stored somewhere then. Can you do a lossy compression? No. Why? Because every number is important. You cannot remove the unnecessary information because there is nothing unnecessary in that. Right? Keep in mind that we cannot use lossy compression for both text and numbers due to the reason that it does not have any unnecessary information. Right? Okay. Now the next one is the lossless compression. Right? Yes. This lossless compression can be used for text or the numbers, right? And let's see that how this particular compression can be used in order to compress the text files or the number files. Let's see that with an example, okay? Uh, so moving towards a simple example for that. Okay, so here is the example. Let's suppose I have a text file in which I am having a text that this section uh, this section shows you how this would work right let's suppose this is the text 
now if i am going to compress this particular file or let's suppose only these two lines if i am going to compress this using lossy compression then what would be the ex steps for that first of all there must be a complex algorithm there must be a complex compression algorithm for that right in order to compress this particular text file right now let's see the steps okay in the first step i am going to identify the patterns right or we can say the repeated words right patterns or the repeated words right so can you tell me that what are the repeated words over here okay let's see that this how and this how h o w is repeating two times similarly this o u and this o u is repeating right and the next one is this this and this right these are some of the repeated words right so let's suppose uh i have just identified these uh three words that are being repeated in this particular sentence then what would be my second step right let's just write it out this h o w how and o u right these are basically the patterns that are repeating in my text okay then secondly what i would do i am just going to index it right indexing um the words right or i can say the just put them into a table put it in a table right okay in this step i can do it like i have a table let's suppose i just give a number to each of these right let's suppose it is numbered as 1 it is indexed as 2 and then it is as 3 right so in this way these patterns are being indexed and now the file would be compressed or in the file when i am just compressing the file okay let's suppose my file is this is my original file and the file after compression is this right then in this file the repeated words or the patterns are being replaced with this index right let's suppose it's one right section s how is replaced by two s h o u would be replaced by three then this how is going to be replaced by two and this would be replaced by 1 and would be w o u would be replaced by 3 l d work right so how many characters are being reduced let's suppose i am just uh, ignoring these spaces then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 i am having 35 characters right before compressing and after compression when i have indexed these and i have identified the patterns how many characters i am having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 right these are these are 23 characters right 
So in this way we have compressed the file, the number of characters has been reduced and now what would be the third step? This is basically going to be saved in a dictionary, right? Um, okay, then the next is, I can say that it can be stored in a data dictionary. Why? Because we, the data, data dictionary will be used in future when we need to recover the file, right? So we are going to use it. So this is the data dictionary. Uh, now the third thing would be in the table, I am going to store the position for the patterns, right? In the table, right? You are going to store the position of these particular patterns in the table as well as and the number of times each pattern is, is repeating, right? So these are the two things that are necessary. The position, for example, this. For this, what would be the position? One, three. Let's suppose I am specifying the position in the table and the second would be number of times. How many times this is appearing? Two times. How many times how is appearing? Two times, right? So this is the information that needs to be stored in the table, right? So uh, this was a simple example in which we have seen that how we can compress the text file into a compressed form into a, a form in which we can reduce the file size, right? And uh, how we can use a data dictionary. This dictionary is going to be used to recover the file, right? So uh, I hope the concept is clear to you. We haven't removed any kind of data. We haven't just uh, eliminated any kind of redundancy, right? We have just replaced the words with the indexes so that the characters are being reduced, right? And the file size is then in this way has been reduced uh, since we have reduced the number of characters, right? And this is the case of just two sentences. And if we are having lots and lots of text in a file, then you can imagine that how much redundancy there would be. So we can use this particular technique effectively in order to compress the file, right? So Thank you so much for watching this. This is how we can uh, do the lossy compression, right? In the text files, in the number file formats, right? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this is helpful to you and you have got the understanding of it. If you have any of the question, any query, you can comment below. I am going to answer it, right? Thank you so much. The compression has been over now. And if you want to see the compression that can be done in images and in music, then please go ahead and see my videos of JPEG and MP3 and MP4, in which I have explained the con concept of compression in musics and in images, right? So thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, this is clear to you. Take care, bye-bye, and in the next video, we are going to start the error correction techniques, right? Bye-bye, take care, see you in the next video.